Hey, Kaz here. Welcome to another Such Art video in which we're going to be painting viewer suggestions from viewers just like you. In today's video, we're going to be doing a couple of landscapes on larger canvases here. And uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get into it. Our first suggestion today comes from Chiago Sareva. I hope I said that right. Says this channel is so underrated. Impressive work there, mate. Very entertaining. Keep the good work. For suggestion, how about a beach landscape with palms and a hot feeling since it's getting cold there in Portugal. Cheers. Cheers to you. And you know what? I know that feeling of getting cold. I love the beach. And uh, I think I got a good idea here. I, I'm not going to be looking at a specific image for inspiration. I did look at uh, quite a bit of different beach landscapes though. And uh, I think I have an idea here for how we're going to do it. So first, we're going to have to pick some nice warm colors for the sky here because it's going to be kind of sunset, sunset, excuse me, sunset. <laughs> you dumb gas. You are really dumb. Yeah, it's going to be kind of a kind of a sunset scene. So uh, I think we're going to go with, let's see. So I think those will work here. Let's, uh, let's get that pencil out of the way. It makes me nervous having it that close to the uh, <laughs> to the yellow. This is a pretty big canvas. Maybe I shouldn't have done big canvases for both paintings, but you know what? Here we are. We're just gonna kind of try to get what I think is gonna work out best. And then we're gonna end up doing a lot of blending. Before we uh, blend it, I better grab my solvent because I already know this took way too long to do, so it's probably gonna be all dry. All right, let's get lots of blend on here. I'm gonna go nice big circle right here. I'm a little worried on how exactly we're gonna do the clouds uh, because I've never really done clouds over sky like this, but we'll see what happens. I'm actually gonna paint kind of where the sun's gonna be again, just so we get a little bit more emphasis on the yellow. That's not too bad, but I think we need to push that orange out a little bit. I mean, it should be purple, you know, kind of purplish, bluish, the cool color, just at the edge. All right, no, I'm actually gonna bring this down a little bit further here. That looks better. Now for the clouds, I'm a little worried on exactly how I'm gonna do it, but let's take, let's take some white here. We're not, we're not gonna have them be perfectly white though. And I think what we're gonna do here is mix a little bit of white with some of the orange. Do some of that like this. There we go. We'll get a little bit of these clouds here in and then we'll blend them. I'm hoping this idea that I have for them like works out well. I ho <laughs> really hope this ends up being okay. Right, now what we really want is to blend the bottom of these clouds. More than the top, more than the top. We're gonna go through and probably have to add some other textures for the top of them. I wanna get that bottom diffused. This right here is a good example of what we do in these videos, is just learning as we go. <laughs> Cause I don't know exactly how a lot of the tools in this are gonna work. Um, and I've never done clouds like this. I've never really even considered doing clouds like this. So you're learning with me here. We're learning what works and what doesn't. So through some trial and error here, I think we're figuring out what works best. Uh, I mean, this is all really dry by this point, but if I'm using solvent here, I can kind of get everything wet again, including the background, which makes this a lot easier to blend into that background. And then once we kind of have it blended a little bit into the background, we can get some white on, on this, put a couple dobs of white on there, and kind of use this to push those around a little bit. I think that's working good. Yeah, I mean, it's not looking half bad. Let's see if we can push this a little bit more around here. There we go. Step back. All right, I think that looks nice. Now with the sky done, we can put some of our tools back and start on the water and the beach. For the water, because of uh, because there's gonna be so much orange and yellow in the sky, it's gonna be a little greenish, a little green. So uh, yeah, let's pick our colors and then we'll uh, and then and then we'll, uh, we'll add the water. Get out of here, Bot. You're in my way. There's a reason I don't usually let you out. 
So I figure let's just uh let's just start it like this here, huh? And then let's just blend and see what happens. Now I really should have worried about uh, getting that part done a little bit better. Let's uh let's wet that up there a little bit. I think that was a bad idea because we gotta have kind of a straight line across for our water. You know what? We're gonna do that. So let's take our tape. So we want it to be about a straight line. I think that's pretty good. Let's uh, let's apply our colors again here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. But we are gonna try to take some white here. Let's see if we can add uh, a, a little bit of something here. I really wish I had like a, a smaller, you know what, hold on. There's something else maybe I can use. I was gonna say I wish I had a smaller palette knife, but I believe there is another knife that I haven't really used much. Uh, I don't know where it is though. Maybe it's in here somewhere. Let's see, I think I left some tools in here. Oh yeah, of course, that's the only tool left in here. Okay, see I'm experimenting down here. Oh, that looks nice like that. Okay, there we go. I'm experimenting down there because that's where the beach is going to be. I think as long as I'm really careful with it like this and do just small little strokes, then it works well. Yeah, I think that works a lot better. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get some of that over here. Man, I actually think that turned out pretty good. Uh, one thing that we do have to do though, let's take that off. Oh, that looks nice. Anyways, as I was saying, what we do have to do is give just a little bit. No, I want it to be, there we go. Let's see here. I want to see if we can line up just along the top of that. Perfect. Because if you ever seen a sunset, there's a little bit of a glow at the horizon. You could also say there's the green flash, but I'm not going to do the green flash. I think this green, this lime green will contrast nicely with uh, with the colors that we have there for, uh, for a glow. Oh, that looks good, man. Whew. All right, now we gotta get our beach. And I'm gonna clean up here. I'm gonna keep that white though, because we're we are gonna end up using that again for uh, the waves as they break against the beach. So for the beach color, similar to how we did everything else, let's get our colors on. There we go, not too bad. And we need a little bit of texture for the beach here, so let's use, uh, let's use this for that. We're gonna end up using the same tool again for the beach. Yeah, I, I, I think so. Just a little bit because I mean, there will be you know, kind of, I, I wanna say like horizontal, you know, kind of breaks in the beach, you know, from, from wind and tide and whatnot. So I think, I think this might help, I don't know. Even if it's not a lot, as long as I, if I can add some, you know, just some, some of these horizontal lines that'll kind of imply, I, I think that works good. I think that looks pretty good. So now with that done, we got to add kind of the, you know, where the, where, where the, the beach meets the surf here. Man, that looks good. All right, now we just gotta fill in some more of this here, just above the surf line. Just learning as we go. Hope you guys are learning something with this too. If you guys play such art, yeah, definitely take what you what you see in my videos and improve on them. Let me know if there's anything you feel uh, that I could probably do better in these videos. You know, if you have any tips or tricks, hey, I'm still learning as I go, so we're in this together. High five. <laughs> Alright, let me just clean this up here and then uh, we'll wrap up with some, some palm trees and some other uh, foliage out here and then we'll be good to go. Alright, so I'm going to go with a large palette knife here to kind of get, uh, get the shape of this, these plants on the side here. And you know what, I take it back. We're not only going to use that. Let's also use the, uh, let's use the small one. I'm gonna go back to the old trick here, using our uh, our palm branch just to add a little bit of texture to this. All right, I think that one looks pretty good. Let's uh, let's get the other side now. Uh, we got both those done here. Let's add uh, let's add a couple of palms, and then I think we'll be good to go. Just gonna 
add a little bit of shadow on these here. A little something I realized we forgot. Oof, good thing I noticed this. It's gonna be a little bit of sunny reflection in the water. Finally, we'll slap a signature on this bad boy and call it done. And our beach landscape is complete. Oh man, I really love this one. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I really learned a lot in painting this one and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Uh, I hope you like it. I really enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like I learned so much doing this. I hope you guys learned something too. Uh, but we have another one that we're gonna get into. So let's move on to the next painting. Our next painting comes from a suggestion from Lee McMahon that says, my suggestion, can you do a picture on a big canvas? Something to do with Ireland, Wicklow, if possible, thanks. You know what, I got you, I got a great idea. I actually didn't know much about uh, about Ireland or Wicklow, but I had to look th uh, some things up and whoa, that's what gave me some great ideas for uh, <laughs> for some of these landscapes. So let's uh, let's go ahead and hurry up through the, uh, through the cleanup process here and then we'll get into the painting. All right, that's pretty clean. So let's throw up the image here that we're gonna use for inspiration. It's gonna be something like this, which is an image of Glendalow, Wicklow, Ireland. Let's uh, grab our canvas and get to work. So let's get the sky out of the way first. So it's gonna be mostly this color. All right, now that we have a lot of that here, a little bit of darker just around the outsides. And let's blendy blendy. Get out of here, bot. Where are you? Get out of here. I don't want you here. Go somewhere else. I almost feel bad for saying that to the bot. Poor guy. That's pretty good. And the only clouds really that uh, that are going to be are going to be just low hanging clouds here beyond the tree line. So for that, I'm actually going to start off with some of this color first. Oh, I think that'll work. Now for the next part here. Put everything away. Ah, put everything away. Ah, put it away. I'm gonna have to get this forest done here. I'm thinking of going with this here, and uh, yeah, let's just start right here. This brush sucks. I don't know why I ever use it. All right, I'm gonna take the lightest green and actually go over it for some texture here, real quick. And the reason I'm going with the lightest green first is because I'm gonna uh, kind of tone it down a little bit with the uh, with that medium green. So now that we got that on, let's dry it quick. Grab our handy palm here. See what I mean? Just going over it here with the uh, medium green kind of helps break it up a bit. Then we're gonna add some of this dark green back on top of it here. And now let's kind of add, because uh, this is a little bit too rounded at the top, right? Need to add a little something that looks like trees. all in the fine details that you add. That's, uh, that's what kind of makes or breaks a painting. That's what I'm figuring out. And you guys seem to appreciate the details. All right, I think that looks good. There is another hill that's gonna be back here. Um, it's gonna be very uh, di diffused by distance. I can't think of the term for that. What? I know there's a, uh, a term in painting for that. Oh my God, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's escaping me. Atmospheric perspective. Anyways, it's gonna be kind of like this. Eh, that looks kind of okay. Let's clean up the paints that we got here. Look at Tidy Kaz, just cleaning up as I go. Now we gotta do the middle ground trees, so let's go with something a little bit lighter than we had before. So let's just grab this brush here. This will be uh, this will be about right. Quite a quite a bit of trees here and bushes. Kind of a pretty good sized one right there. We're gonna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna put uh, a little bit more of this texture on here. We're gonna try to add a little bit of the highlights here on the right side of the trees. That's not too bad, but I think we need to, uh, to define the shadow side a little bit more. 
There we go. It's a small thing, but I think that works. Now there are actually going to be some uh, some pretty clearly defined trees here in the background. Let's uh, let's actually start it with this uh, with this brush. Yeah, there we go. I think that'll work good. Ooh, I gotta tell you, working on these trees is tedious work, man. It's okay though. It's coming out uh, how I want, so it'll be worth the effort. All right, now let's clean this off. We're gonna use our scraper again to add uh, kind of some of the, the highlights to uh, to the trees here. Now we used a really, really dark green for the trees, but we need something a little bit darker for the shadow side. So let's go with black. Oh, that looks pretty good. And we'll get going with the next part of our foreground here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not foreground, middle ground. And it is actually a little yellow. So first, because the top of the hill is actually pretty yellow, we're gonna go with our yellow first. We'll add some yellowish green under it and blend these together. And then you know what we gotta do. We gotta blendy blendy. Let's use our sponge here to add a little bit more darker texture on this. I mean, not much. This is just going to kind of imply that, there, yeah, there's grass here. <laughs> We're going to add uh, some of this little bit of a, like, kind of a greenish yellow sponge to it as well. And before I get too far, there is actually something else that we got to do in our midground. We're going to grab our tape gun here because there is, uh, I believe it's called a monk tower. I don't know, but there's a little bit of a spire that's, uh, that's right over here. So before we do the spire, actually, we need to make uh, trees and stuff back here. And we need to infill this because we didn't do a good enough job at bringing all of these bushes all the way up to cover this uh, the sky. And now let's tape up our tower. So let's see if we can get it mostly painted with this color here. I'm gonna add just some of the darker gray on the left side. We're gonna blend this together, but this will uh, this will be good for now. I'm gonna go with I, I think quite a bit of this lighter color on the right side. Yeah, that'll look good. I'm gonna use a little bit of this just on the side. Yep, there we go. Just maybe a little bit of this texture on this side. And lastly, maybe we can take this and kind of make some vertical line or some horizontal lines with this. All right, let's take the tape off. All right, now there's a couple windows in this bad boy. Let's, uh, let's put those in. Now we just gotta get the, uh, the, the, the roof. Is that what it's called? The, the roof, the crown? I, I don't know exactly what that would be called. So it is a little rounded and it goes a little bit over the edge, which is why I have the tape going here. So I think we're gonna go like this. I'm not gonna worry about adding textures to this. Let's just take the tape off, see how it looks, and oh, that looks good. There's not gonna be a lot of details to the building in front of it here. We're just basically gonna do two sides. There we go. The tower's looking a little lonely. I think we need to add a little bit more foliage behind it here. Let's, uh, let's go with the fan brush. Oh, I think that looks much better. All right, now we just gotta wrap up uh, the water, a big old tree on this side, and uh, looks like there's uh, some sort of a building over here too. Maybe let's get let's get the building out of the way next. So this shouldn't actually be that hard. Looks like there's something here, then one right behind it here. Because we didn't quite fill in enough stuff here, I'm gonna add some more foliage right here. All right, not too bad. So next, uh, let's add our water here. I feel like that blue is almost too saturated, but nah, you know what, we'll deal with it. It'll be good. Now that we've got our base colors down for the water, let's blend it all together. Now I wanna get all the, all the green that's gonna be kind of at the water's edge. 
we'll grab our fan brush for this put kind of the base colors on with this right here I think that'll be I think that'll work good I might add some uh, a little bit more texture with this green right here yeah that'll work all right now I'm gonna add some of this lightest green on here with this Now, I want to take some of this and spot a little bit lower, just kind of down at the water's edge, just under this. So this would be kind of, uh, this is kind of going to kind of be our, our shadow of the, uh, of the foliage here that's, oh, pff, saving. As I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted, this would be kind of the shadow of, uh, of what's overhanging here. Not too bad, and then now I kind of want to, oh man, I hope I don't mess this up. I was gonna say, I kind of want to do a little bit on this side as well. All right, not too bad, not too bad. A couple other things that we're gonna want to add here is just a little bit more foliage over here. And just this one right here with the bush, because it looks like it might have, and by it looks like, I mean, in my mind's eye, I'm imagining having uh, this little bush having some white flowers on it. I mean, just a little bit. Something else we got to add here is a little bit of a uh, little bit, a couple stones in the uh, in the water down here. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can add some shadows of them, huh? I'm sorry, I said shadows. I meant reflections. All right, not too bad. Actually gonna add a little bit more of a bush right here as well, just to kind of break this up a little bit. I'll say this one has a little bit of yellow in it, huh? Nice. All right, last finishing touches here is there's gonna be a big old tree hanging out right here. I don't feel like I did as good of a job on this tree as uh, as I wanted, but I think it'll still end up working out. I don't know. I mean, that's that's the hope. Hope against hope. And lastly, let's slap a little signature down here in the corner. And there we go, our landscape painting of Glendalo, Wicklow, Ireland. Lee, thank you so much for the suggestion. I hope uh, you enjoyed this painting. I had a blast doing it, and I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by leaving a thumbs up on it, and subscribe to the channel here if it's your first time here, and you want to see more great videos by me. I'm going to call it right here. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of the day. Kaz is out. Peace!